Good hot afternoon to you all out there in YouTube land. Well, it's quite obvious I'm back in my shed again. I've been kicking around an idea for the past year or so of trying, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, trying to make a tiny, super small workshop in the Dorkel shed for small electronic stuff. I'd like to be able to dabble in it again, even though my eyes are bad. Um, it won't be tube stuff and everything because I, I don't have a supply of tubes and everything. It would be just dabbling around and working with small things and stuff like that. Um, I don't have any equipment. Um, kind of sorry I got rid of just about all my equipment. But I come in this shed here and I look around and then I go into the Dorkel shed and I look around and basically I have to get rid of stuff in order to even consider using a small section of the Dorkel shed for a small workbench. And I do mean a small workbench. I do have a table that I made which has stuff on it in the Dorkel shed uh, that I made for supposedly to bring in the house to do my splicing of my movie film which I've never never done so in the closet like everything else so my intention is to clean out some of the stuff in this main shed here which is where the video is being recorded right now and that means getting rid of stuff so that I can take stuff out of the Dorkel shed on the right hand side where I want to make a, a little workshop if I can. It's only going to be a place where I'm lucky if I have a three foot wide workbench by probably 18 inches. It's going to be just a little place where I can do some soldering and stuff and small things when the weather's not good that I can work outside, I have to work, you know, inside, I can do it there. And then there'll be a way of having lights overhead to shine down on things, that's not a problem. The problem is, I got too much stuff. I got a big vacuum cleaner, I got a small shop vac in there, I got uh, a five foot step ladder, and I got a small step ladder. There's no place for that stuff. So what I'd have to do is take out a lot of stuff here and shove it all in here on the right hand side and I don't know where to put Uncle Dorkle. One thing's for sure if I do that is I'm going to have to get rid of Uncle Dorkle's legs and ass because that takes up half the damn Dorkle shed. So enough talking. I want to show you what I'm up against here and what my plans are. Well, as you can see, I got two table saws here that take up the whole damn thing. This one here I got way back in the 70s. This is an 8-inch Craftsman. It's got a good miter gauge. It fits in there properly. This is the Delta that I bought a few years ago at a yard sale, and I can't get a, a miter gauge to fit that. So, in reality, I really should get rid of one of these. I got two Techniques 15-inch speakers, full-range speaker system they used to use in a cookout. They're high efficiency that I got at a yard sale that are sitting here and taking up this corner. That purple bag you see right there is stuff from my old workshop. These two boxes here, that is my some of my slides, only took a few of them. And other stuff down here, this is an empty box which I saved to put things in. I mean, you can see what I'm up against here. I am, there's just no room. So I would have to really clean this place out big time and shove whatever I can get in here See, the way this shed is now, if I need something in the back, I can't even get at it. I got drawers way in the back that have nuts and bolts and washers and heavy stuff. 
I got a whole drawer of them. I can't even get at them. So I would have to get rid of those speakers. We don't have cookouts anymore. I used to have those speakers hooked up. I used to unhook these Radio Shack speakers here, which are built into the wall. And um, I used to have them hooked up here onto my um, CD and uh, a radio player, which, uh, which I bought many years ago. And it's powerful enough to drive those speakers and uh, has real good sound. So I'd have to get rid of those anyways. I'd have to. I need the room. So if I clean that corner out, I can probably stick my compressor in there. So let's go in the Dorkle Shed, because that's where I plan on making the uh, shop, if it's going to be at all. The problem is... I have to find a place for Uncle Dorkle. His legs and ass will have to go. The rigid vacuum cleaner, i got to find, a room, find room for it. Now, I want to keep everything on this side, so if I built... If I could manage to clear out this section here, I'd have to take this compressor, which was originally in the big shed, put that in the corner after I get rid of those speakers. And I got a movie screen here, which I don't know why I bought it, but anyways, I got the projector. So what I'd have to do is I'd have to take and shove everything over on this side. And that there is my uh, wife's uh, antique uh, rocking chair when she was a little girl and I put polyurethane on it and glued it all together and it was all falling apart. Did that years ago. I don't want to get rid of that. Um, in the middle here, down at the bottom, I have a 5000 BTU air conditioner, uh, which I totally cleaned out with a hose and everything, got all the crap out. That was the one I had mentioned in my other video. Uh, that when I was cleaning out the 15,000 Frigidaire that you if you watch that video well this was the one uh, last year that went kapui in my son's room and what really happened was it was so dirty um, it's 5,000 BTU and if I'm not mistaken it's probably about 550 watts or so maybe 600 at the most it's only a 5,000 I figured to cut out the section of the wall here and build that right in here. Um, 500 watts um, should be okay. We've got 12 wire running into the shed. So I should be okay here. And then I'd have to make a little bench here. There's already a shelf here. You can see it. But all this stuff here, all this stuff here that's in here would have to be taken off. And then uh, maybe uh, some test equipment can be put here. I haven't got any test equipment to speak of, and I, I don't want to start spending money on things. I'm, you know, like like I did with the ESR meter. That's a small purchase. So in time, if I can get some chop, I could probably do a little something with things. And this is an old computer that I, I got, I took out the power supply of. Things like this don't need to be kept here. Uh, here's uh, another monitor that uh, is an extra, 14 inch, you know, and things like that. It's an empty box for DVR that my wife uses for recording her shows and stuff that we bought a few years back. So I'd have to kind of like, you know, I'm figuring if I can make this corner a little workshop, but I would have to clear out all this stuff, including this guy. Here's some VCRs I picked up for two, three, four, five dollars each at yard sales in the years past. Uh, some work, some don't. Uh, there's a chair here that was my wife's aunt's chair. I used to use it in um, um, at my computer desk, so I would need a chair to sit at this table. You probably can't see the table too much. Well, yeah, here it is, right here. Okay, that's the desk that I made. It's not really that big. It starts here, and it's just on the other side of that movie screen. So it's probably about 36 inches long. So it'd be a tiny bench. But it would enable me to work on things. And with an AC in here, it would be quite comfortable. And in the wintertime, 
I have this that I bought last year. I saved up some money for it. It was, I think it was $69, uh, Mr. Heater, um, at Walmart. And they got some good reviews on that, so that could be uh, used in here uh, to heat the place. But I got a wooden ladder here. I would have to find a home for, and I don't want to stick it outside. That's a perfectly good electric heater right there. That's 1,800 watts. Most of them only are 1,500. This is this has a, a setting goes right up to 1,800 watts. Uh, there's uh, one of those. Eight foot umbrellas, sun umbrellas, in a box right there. Um, my portable grill. So, I mean, stuff is just thrown here. And there's a high chair that, um, it's a step stool actually, that we used to have out in the um, screen house. I figure all this here, this is our 10,000 BTU that we have for backup, uh, that's only been tried one time and put away. So this stuff would have to stay here. This is a Windows XP computer that originally was my wife's before she went to Windows 7. And it's got two hard drives in it. So I don't want to really throw this out. Uh, it was a Husky Impact wrench, which is uh, I got for $20 closeout. Uh, I'll probably donate this to the school on Saturday mornings. It's a 36 cup coffee maker, no, 42 cup. 42 cup that we used to use for our cookouts. I can get rid of that because we we don't have cookouts anymore So if I can con condense this this is some stuff From my mother-in-law's when she was alive from her apartment Which I think is bulbs and stuff. I'm not positive So if I can consolidate this I can probably get some of this over here and this side of the shed is going to have to accommodate most of this stuff here. It's going to have to because if I do make a shop, I got to at least have where this bench is right here, this table, to the wall. So this would have to go. I'd have to find a home for this. This is just for draining antifreeze, not for oil. I bought that, so if I need to change antifreeze. Um, and things like that in this corner would have to come out. And then maybe even insulate the ceiling with some fiberglass. Mice don't get in here anyways. There's no openings big enough for a mouse to get in. And uh, it, it would be easy to put clamp. I see that lamp right there. That would could work as overhead lighting on the bench. So that's my thought. Whether it's going to come true or not, I don't know. Because I've got a lot of stuff. Like I say, Uncle Dorkle's legs and ass are going to have to go. I don't use them. Uh, last Halloween, I took them, put them in the truck. I think it was last year, a year before, I don't even know, I'll lose track of what I did and didn't do. Um, this was too damn big for the truck. So I was kind of sorry I built this because it's taking up so damn much room. I have to find a home for that big um, rigid vacuum cleaner. The compressor is not a problem. I can put that in the, get rid of them speakers and I can put that in, the, in there. And then my electrical stuff will have to come in here. So ideally, I would like to be able to utilize a little bit of this for storage of the electronic stuff. But this may not even take place because I got way too much stuff and I'll be damned if I'm going to throw it away. I don't mind getting rid of this. This screen has got some blotches on it. I really should have saved the good screens I had. I had 50 by 50 over at the old house. And this one came with this projector and the uh, the gaff that I showed you. This is the Model 85, I think, Revere. I'll have to find a place to put that over to here somewhere. Then out back, I probably will cut and put the 5,000 BTU in, in the wall here but not until I test it out really good. 
because as I recall, I think the top of the coil was colder, the inside coil was colder than the bottom, but eventually the whole thing got cold. So I don't know if it's low on charge or what. But anyways, I've got a lot of stuff stored here uh, and I really don't want to take any more stuff out of here and have it out to the weather. I mean, I got my ramps under here for driving up the steel ramps and some jack stands and things underneath here and an extra propane bottle empty that's underneath here. So, I mean, there's only so much I can do and I, I don't want to, I'm not I'm going to build a bigger shed. So, that's my intention. And one other thing. If you look here, there's no more damage. I had sprayed it with paint after I put, um, I soaked it down with Hornet and Wasp Killer. So there's no more, no more problem with whatever was eating the shed that was only that one time. Now being that this is a low doorway and I purposely made this that way because it was meant only for storage and when I built this my intention was to just bring stuff in and just load it right to the ceiling so I can free up some space in the big shed. Well, of course, I keep picking up things like this. But I gotta find a place to put Uncle Dorkle, and being that he's 40 inches from the top of his head to his waist, he takes up a lot of height. But I'm not getting rid of Uncle Dorkle. I'll get rid of his ass and his legs. Is that okay with you? What the hell do you think you're doing? You're gonna dispose of my legs and ass! And it's only in the planning stages now. It has to get a hell of a lot cooler before I can do any work. You're probably wondering what this thing is with the wheels on it. This is a fiberglass insulated cooler on wheels with a drain on it that I got at a yard sale probably about 10 years ago. Somebody had made a plywood top on it, it so the top is not insulated like the sides are and I didn't do this painting this was done that way and it keeps it used to keep our sodas and our, our cold water and everything cold and we used to have it out on our cookouts. In here we've got extra carpeting in case we have to patch up our carpeting. We've got extra fiberglass insulation and stuff so there's stuff in here. So I really don't want to get rid of this but it represents some space. Now if you look over here I don't really have all that much. I'm saying probably about 18 inches maybe. So it's really you know if I was to get rid of that it would give me some more room but I'd still have to store this air condition at this 10,000 BTU frigid air, which is brand new. So, the reason we bought this is the, uh, two years ago we had thought the uh, control panel went bad in our AC, and it wasn't, it was the surge protector. So, we couldn't get a 15,000, they didn't have any. So we got a 10 and we slipped it in the sleeve and uh, we were going to build it up with uh, fiber foam rubber and stuff. Come to find out that there was nothing wrong with the 15,000 BTU. This was two years ago now. This was not done on video. And come to find out it was the surge protector that blew, but it blew in such a way that the display dimly lit. So it threw me off. The red and green lights were still lit on the surge protector. So after pulling it all out and putting this in and plugging it in, this didn't work. So I said, wait a minute, now there's nothing wrong with that other air conditioner. So it cleaned it up a little bit and put it back in there and this went back in the shed. So this was used just maybe about, oh, 10 minutes. That's all. Now I had cleaned this out a few years back, but you'd never know it. But I got to get rid of them two speakers. They're they're good size. That's the top of it right here. There's a toolbox here, and that's got tools in it. Uh, that will have to be put somewhere. And then um, there's stuff on top of the speakers because there's one speaker in front of the other. It's back there. And uh, there's one of my 
Floodlights I can't even get at. That's a 500 water. I can't even get at that if I needed it. So I got the smaller one over here. Uh, all this electrical stuff, these three boxes here and the one underneath it would have to go. And then I got my big electrical case that I took from the old workshop down in there somewhere. So I got a major job ahead of me. And um, one of the biggest things is getting rid of one of these table saws. And I really don't want to do that. This is a great, they're both good table saws. But I'll see. Maybe I can work it so I can take one and put it. I need to be able to get out. If I need to do some woodwork, I need to get the table saw out. And I got a dado blade, eight inch, for that craftsman. Like I say, I bought that in the, uh, in the, um, I would say 1975 or 76 from Sears. That's how far back that one goes, eight inch. I've got a dado blade and everything else for that. I used to do all my dado stuff in that when I made the entertainment center back in the 80s. I did a uh, three quarter inch dado cut on them for the shelving. Thanks for watching. Remember, it's only in the planning stages. It may not even come to be. Did you know that slugs have four noses?